Hello guys, today in this video we will clone this IPL website schedule page with the help of react.js and you can see this page if you go in the ipl20.com and in the match let's go to schedule and you can see this page we will clone the entire web page and with the help of react.js and in the previous couple of videos we'll see lots of things about the map function and how to use it in the react.js so i thought that let's build a minor project with the help of the map function and then find this website cloning will be the best for this purpose so without wasting any time please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and let's follow with me i have opened my react tab in the vs code and also started the development server with npm start and just see what our website is now looks like it is with a simple text hello everyone and we need to build this entire website so let's part this website or divide this website into some components like just divide this upper portion as a header component and this wide background portion let's divide name it as schedule and this whole component or the schedule match component there is can be called another component so let's start with the header so for that we need to build a header component so i'm just creating one header component and i am just using rfc and click enter and this will build other things also so let's build the nav bar so i have written some lines of code and i wanted this ipl logo so let's copy the image link so copy image address and just go paste it in the src let's save and see the output what our website is now looks like let's need to refresh why it's not showing okay we don't put or import this website into the app component so just add it header and also import it okay just save and see refresh this page okay you can see the logo is appeared but the background color is not showing because the text is in white color so for that I have written some CSS and I am just copying and pasting this. You can see there is just some classes names like navbar, IPL logo and this class is also included here. So just go for the output you can see this navbar is looks like more similar to this navbar. We don't need the nav links so I did not put anything in there. And after that we need the schedule section so let's build this after the nav component is over let's type the heading as schedule uh, class name as heading and just write this schedule just copy and paste it and as we are exporting two components that is nav component and one div we need to wrap this component inside one react fragment you can see this syntax is the way of react fragment we will discuss more about this later so just of now let's understand this is the way you can export two or more components from one component so just save this and see the output uh, you can see the schedule is here but i need some more css for that for that i have written some more css so i'm just adding it so in the app.css I am adding some CSS ok and save this and see now you can see it looks like more colorful now ok so let's close this tab ok so now this section is completed or the header section is almost completed so let's build the schedule section so for that I am just closing the header section we don't need the header section anymore and just create one schedule sec section so schedule.jsx rafc okay so this is how the schedule sec section will looks like now okay it's not rendering anything okay i am not importing it so let's import also schedule okay let's see okay this section is appeared 
so for the structure of the schedule section i have written some jsx and i am just copy and pasting the jsx now and i will explain after copy and pasting this so i have written some jsx just like this it's a lots of classes and also pasted the class names just like this by the way i will share all of the source code so don't need to worry about this code let's see how this works so the schedule div component is our whole schedule component outer div and inside we have matches so matches is just the, the component of the, each and every match and inside we have one div for the date and one is time and this is for the date and for the time in this ipl website also we have date and time so this is how it will look like and after that we have one team div so the whole section or the whole yeah, after the date and time this whole section is called the teams and inside the team we have team one and team one logo and team one name and also we have a versus pen and after that we have similar type of team one we have team two which is the away team and team one is the home team we have the logo icon also but now we don't have any src so the icon is empty so and after all of that uh, we have one venue div and this is the venue div so this is how i structured the our whole application also add some style also and just see what i have done i imported the use state hook and in the use state hook i created one matches because i don't need to change anything from the use state or why don't need to change any any times the match so i did not set or did not provide the set match matches uh, very well then so you can see the matches we have one array and inside the array we have one javascript object this syntax is just looking like one json data and inside this just copy one of this and just see it in the after that it will be better for understanding so just comment it down okay just see the comment this object has one id which is one for the first match and it will be two for the second match just like this and we have one date so this date contains the date of the match and this there is time and also it is am or pm so the id will be shown here and the date is here and also the match time will be here just like this id will be there here date time okay so after that we have home team name and away team name which will be shown here home team name and away team name and also we have home team logo and logo for away team just like we have here home team's logo and away team's logo just like in there we have bangalore's logo and punjab's logo so and also for the venue we have one field oops what i've done huh. so for the venue we have one field and it is just like this mention is wankhede stadium just like in that case we have wankhede stadium so we get the basic structure of our web page so just we now repopulate this website data with the help of this array so how can we do this so simply just with the help of the map function we need to map the entire section of the matches repetitive time so just write the curly braces and inside write matches dot map by the way matches is the our state name which we provided here matches and ma uh, map and inside we just pass map and inside this parenthesis let's pass the inside everything here so let's just grab this and okay and just save this it will automatically render and we just and the matches is the entire object so we just need to put the placeholders value from this so for the name uh, for the match number we have one field called id so match dot id and for the match date we have match dot date match dot date mm, let's see match dot date spelling is correct for match time we have two things that is match dot time with dot and also by the space we have match dot uh, something like pm or am okay 
just because we have something special character inside this we can't apply the dot method so we have also providing with the square brackets you can also provide the time and id also with the square brackets but we actually don't do this type of things we just provide the square bracket whenever we have something crazy inside it so just save this and see what will be in the output now you can see 70 times of component is re-rendered and each of the time the match 1 match 2 match 3 and all of the dates are changing the same date has two matches from 3 pm and 7 pm so it the date is same okay so just do the rest of the things and here we need to provide the logo name for the home team and it has something let's see what we have okay you can see we have logo dot home team let's change the team name also match dot and oops match dot home team versus is the same and also match dot away team match dot away team also we need to change this match dot what we have logo underscore every team okay so i think everything is fine just save this okay so i need to also provide the venue match dot i think venue it is okay so just save this and just compile it okay it's compiled and you can see our website is completed with just few minutes and see Let's see what is the third match. It is between Punjab and Rajasthan. Let's see what we have. Punjab and Rajasthan. You can see this entire website is cloned with such simple of some HTML and CSS and with the help of the map function. You can see each and every matches are there. Let's see the last match what we have. Let's see. Sunrise is Hyderabad versus Punjab Kings. Let's also go for the last match. Okay, we have also Sunrises Hyderabad versus Punjab Kings. So this is a cool way to visualizing the entire data. We can also put a separate function over there. So let's grab this and just build an entire new component. Also, it's called Match. You can also put the. You can also leave this whole section alone but I am just grabbing this and seeing how you can pass or you can use the function also or pass the component props so for that we don't have the we don't have the match we will have the props in that case so by the way just uh, match import the match function or the match component and pass the props as match equals to match okay so let's save this and in the match uh, here just provide the props and we just need to write every before everything we just need to write props dot match id props dot match date or we can we can simply do one thing that is creating the entire props just by simply match so we just for that case we just don't need to write the props in each and every cases so just save these and now see the output we have the same output but in this time we have a separate component for the whole matches so this match component and this match component are different so i think we have done something good by cloning this ipl website so if you like this video then please like and share this video with your friends and comment out which is your favorite ipl team so see you in the next video bye bye